showed it to you last week from what Revelation 22 verse 1 and 2 Revelation 4 verse 6 and 1 that the source of the river is what? is the throne praise God that there is a, a river that flows before the throne of God amen that at salvation what happens is that what you are connected to that fountain amen you are connected to that eternal fountain the Holy Ghost that began to make you understand says son are you aware that the river that is inside you John 7 verse 37 to 39 said what? out of your bed I said Bible said in that seven that he said on the last day of the feast what Jesus what Jesus cried out I said what if any man cares let him what let him come unto me amen do you understand let him come and what and drink for as the scripture said out of his belly shall do what shall flow rivers of living water but he now said something to me he said son are you aware that yes it is true I said that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water why because the river inside you can flow amen it can what it can flow however the Holy Ghost. He says to me, are you aware that the flow of the river, the very first place that the river is supposed to flow, amen, to carry you to, amen, is not actually outside. No. It's not that when the river comes into you, the first thing the river, the river wants to do is not, for, is not to flow outside through you. No. That's the truth. That's the truth. The first thing the river wants to do, sir, is not to flow out through you. That is why at salvation, yes, the river is inside you, but you can't walk in miracles. You can't do a lot of things. Why? Said because the Holy Ghost said the first assignment of that river inside you. No, said the first thing the river is trying to do is not to help you manifest. No, and the, the first assignment the river has to every believer is to first carry you back to the throne. Do you understand that the first that that river that is inside you, the first place the river wants to take you to is not the nations, is the throne. Do you hear what I'm saying? That no, no, the first assignment of that river that you have been connected to is not the nations, it's not territory. That is why the moment you give your life to Christ, the first thing you don't just give your life to Christ to that. The next thing you are raising people is a lie. It's a lie. Why? Say what? Because the first place that we find, amen. The flood needs to first take you back to the source, amen. It takes you what to the throne. That it is from the throne that what that you cannot begin to flow to the nations. Do you get what I'm saying? You are not following me. People are looking. Do I have people here that are, that I understand? I feel like I'm the only one who is here, amen. Those of you online, I really hope you are following me. Praise God. The river of life is what? It's best meant to take you to this throne room. Amen. The men that flow to the nations. That, like that's why I now understood. That actually the river, amen. You are supposed to be like a conduit pipe. When I said out of your belly shall flow. Amen. The flow is not supposed to no, it, it's not you that God. Oh, you don't understand. The, you are not the person that needs to flow. Do you understand? God just needs you to be available as a conduit pipe. Do you understand? As what? As a conduit. But it is only those who have allowed the river to take them back to the throne room. Amen. True intimacy. Amen. That what? That the river cannot begin to flow out through to the nations. I said, eh, hey, I said, yes. Ah, I said, Lord, I never saw it there. I said, hey, I know. He said, he said, you have achieved it. I brought you there already. That's why I can show you now. Are you getting the point? That, so, when the Bible says, well, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water, the, the, amen, calm down. Don't rush to flow first, amen. First, allow that river to take you back, right, to the source, which is the throne room. And I've showed it to you, what, Revelation 22, verse 1, and Revelation 4, and verse 6, and 1. That, that river has a source. That's a source. Praise God. Then, because, you see, what God wants to flow out of you, that is why if you study the if you study the pathway which I won't go into today, amen. If you study the channels and the pathway of that river, because it also has it's the book of Ezekiel. I know you have read it, but you don't I know you know the uncle this this but no in the previous things before then were actually hey see the Holy Ghost can teach you things. It was years ago when the, that was the first time the Holy Ghost taught me what I how many of you know bearing in mathematics, amen. I, I drew a compass as it was and then the river went southward and then went. I drew the compass. He told me, pick a pen. I, I was going. I drew a compass. That's why it's good to know mass. Yeah, no mass. No mass. It will help you understand the Bible. No mass. Those of you that are running away from mathematics. No mass. Amen. Hey, you see, you have no idea how the knowledge of maths and physics, how the Holy Ghost have used those concepts to explain the anointing and power. He to me. Because let me tell you, many of the things in the natural are actually what? A representation of spiritual principles. Do you understand? So they are just like twins. Amen. They are like twins. So if I follow under the anointing, people will come. They will touch my door. It's, I saw things. Do you understand? I saw th I saw things in the scripture that made those operations possible. It wasn't by chance or luck. Do you get the point? Because I am now understood how to release. Amen. I, I I understood how the thing was flowing. I understood how to follow it. Are you getting the point? So I knew how to release it. 
Praise God. Are we still together? Amen. That what? The river inside you. The very first place the Holy Ghost as the people of life inside you wants to take you to. It's not the nations. It's where it's the throne room. He wants to lead you back there first. Amen. It is what? And it is from there that will because in that place huh, you are not functioning with the measure of the river. No. In that place that is where you are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. That's why Jesus is called the fountain of life. The, the fountain is no, the fountain is, is in that throne room. Do you understand? That you can operate from that place. You can carry the overflow. That's what I'm saying. Amen. So men that walk in the overflow of the anointing are those. Lord, let me just enter it once. Amen. Men that walk in the overflow are those what are those that have what they have been able to find that source. That it has a source. Amen. There was a place where if I have you seen the book of Genesis? The Bible said what? Said what? And then said and then said, and then, said a river. Flow into what into the garden of Eden, and then and then what happened? Then he parted into four heads. Amen. Did what? But the question is, where did it flow from? Where did the river come from? He just told that what and the river flows into Eden to the garden of Eden. Amen. Where did the river come from? Amen. Are we together?